Hello and welcome to this walkthrough of a proof. This is the proof that the product of three consecutive odd numbers is odd. Well firstly let's define our three consecutive odd numbers. Let n be any positive integer i.e. a whole number. Then we could say 2n minus 1, 2n plus 1, and 2n plus 3 are consecutive odd numbers. Now the reasoning there is 2n is always an even number, 2 times an integer is an even number. If I take away 1 from an even number, I add 1. I add 3, you get odd numbers, and because this is 2n minus 1, then you've got 2n plus 1, 2n plus 3, they're all 2 apart, so they're consecutive odd numbers. Now, the product is 2n minus 1, 2n plus 1, 2n plus 3. So now we just have to do the multiplication. Well, let's do this bracket first. 2n times 2n, 4n squared. 2n times 1, so we've got plus 2n, minus 2n, negative 1 times 2n, and then negative 1. Notice nicely they cancel out. That's the advantage of doing the 2n minus 1, 2n plus 1. So I get 4n squared, minus 1, 2n plus 3. And then we expand this. 4n squared multiplied by 2n is 8n cubed. 4n squared multiplied by 3 is 12n squared. Negative 1 multiplied by 2n is negative 2n. Take away 2n. And then negative 1 multiplied by 3 is negative 3. So, let's have a look how we can do this. Well, I could write this again, and this is a nice little trick, and you'll see why we do this in a minute. Minus 2, minus 1. The three, the negative 3 has become minus 2, minus 1. So, here we go. And then, I'm going to take out a factor of 2 of all of this. So, 2, that becomes 4n, 2 lots of 4n cubed. I've got two lots of 6n squared. I've got two lots of negative n. I've got two lots of negative 1. And I've got negative 1 at the end. Now, this is got to be an integer because n is an integer. Two lots of that is going to be even. And then I take away 1. So two lots of 4n cubed plus 6n squared, take away n, minus 1 is even. Therefore, two lots of 4n cubed plus 6n squared, minus n, minus 1, take away 1, must be odd. So you can show, you can have an even number, which is there, take away 1 from that even number, you must have an odd number. There you go. I hope that's clear. Thank you.